When traveling to fly fish, it's a real life gift to have friends that own a fly fishing motel. That didn't happen just by chance, of course. We last fished with Ash and Amber and family immediately prior to the pandemic, and upon return, we made a point of getting together. We met up to immerse ourselves into the beach forests about their Marawea motels, a day of fly fishing, then something a little different as we had our mountain bikes and wanted to poke around a track an hour southwest. Amelia and I joined Ash and his friend Steve as we fished the creek beside their motel in hopes of finding a few active browns. Yeah. That moment where you realize why am I walking in the planks when there's no mud? <laughs> I love that low angle light reflective glare off that Anything, rock. Huh? Man, it just makes it like. <laughs> it's always the morning. Yeah. Up here looking eastward. Yeah. <laughs> this is that magnified light on sand stuff that just makes it look good. Well, or good luck getting a cast. Yeah. Yeah, the shadow yeah. that you see every corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if it'll be egg and cotton dust crazy. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think we had it once. It was a really eggy because it's got to be here. Right through there into those bubbles. Good thing you stepped on that first one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd hate for it to be the only, only one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh huh. Boy, you'd think something off that shelf, but yeah. these are always the marginals, eh? Yeah, absolutely. That slide into that trough of. Or don't. Yeah. Stunner, eh? Still pretty. Well, with or without fish that has fantails.
Oh, it came down, yeah. It came down after it, and then just turned back up. I just saw the tail. Just, yeah. He's right deep, eh? Look at him. He's going up a touch. He's feeding, though, eh? Yeah. Couldn't see it in the drone. Yeah, it might work to your advantage. Add two feet to your dropper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Gotta get the authentic view. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a signature. <laughs> you good, Stevie? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Crazy nice, dude. That was good. Is all you, dude? Nice. Sweet. Got her? Yep. Got that. That's healthy, too. We're right at the bottom of that trench, eh? Amazing. Yeah, it looks like a three foot, four foot dropper. Wow, yeah. that's encouraging. That's made Stevie's week this season. Any movement? Well, the thing is, you don't know. Are they all on the bloody. Yeah. The bottom of the mm. shelf instead yeah. of the instead of the summer tops. Yeah, it's yeah. a stick. 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 A little help there for you. Well, I try to help people. You know, it's Yeah, probably right there. If he's not there, he's gonna have to be right there. I'll sneak around. I was thinking there might have been something that was holding yeah. us over there, a bit of the drop off zone, but it's yeah, just no, that still to be a bit of a smudgy. Right? Hey, Ash, top of the button hook of that dark line. 
touched an inch as yet. The one kind of trout I do not like is the one that has endured a summer of heat and drought and has shut down to stress. These fish sit doggo in mere inches of water on the extreme margins. They're usually big-headed and skinny as rails to the back end and literally do nothing, simply enduring until conditions change or food sources return. This fish was exactly that, and it was my turn. I took a few casts just to fit in, but the last thing I want is to catch this kind of fish. I passed up a similar brown later in the day. Since moved to this rock. Oh, look, he's going doggo over here now. Yeah, now, nah. he's about half as thick as my wrist. Yeah, that's a summer survivor. Are you seeing anything? Yeah, I'm kind of down a line that looked good, but. That's what I'm wondering. I think he's moved up. Somebody, somebody come with me to give me another look as we go. Cause I thought I saw a movement right up in, in here. There, right yeah. In the that That's him. Do you think this is yep. him right here? Yep. Inside. Yep. Okay. I see what you mean. Let me get a cast there and then see. Exactly. Over him there? Yep. Do you think that was a look? No, not, no. no, I don't know. It's quite round looking. Yeah, no, and it was just going for the head shape, so no. Yeah, I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, let's, let's, because I, we can eliminate this, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So definitely up into the next realm. Do you think he's, I is think he, still think I'm wondering right in there, yes. in the crook there? Yeah, on the yellow. That. But there, it's, no, it's still not. so round, right? Yeah. Something's not right about it. You know he's here, it's just where the hell... And he did move, did he? Like he fed a little. Well, he's in a pretty good, happy spot there, wasn't he? I think he had moved even before I cast, as Dave said. You weren't seeing anything here when I first cast, were you? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, let's go up. I gotcha. Yeah. At the same time, it's kind of water that you think they got to move well, a bit, right? He's not here to rest, is he, as such? Like it's... No. But do you agree that we thought we he was here? Yep. Yeah, seeing, but if he's there, he's just... I don't want to miss him right on this drop off and be looking too far out, but yeah, that's yeah. possible too, right? It's sort of one of those dope moments. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You step on it. Well, okay. What? No, see, I keep, you're wondering, is that, that's not him. Like right there. In that, yeah, in that. In the crook between the these two, two yellow. yellow. Yep. Uh, I don't, nah, it's, it's an I just, of a rock. Mm, yeah, it's okay, gotta see be. see that uh, here. Did that you just smudge see right up in that tongue. Yeah. And it moved, I reckon. Okay, yep. okay. What's that? Yeah, no worries. I think I may go. Well, no, I won't yet, but I, I want to go heavier with the nymph because he's in that faster, slightly deeper, probably. You know, because they're not remotely coming. 
I think I'm going to put on something a little heavier, love, just to get it down now. Yeah, Is it him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see where you're looking. He's, no, yeah. no, cool. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. It's great light right now. I'll try to be quick. Awesome. A happy little camper. He is a happy camper. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. It was gorgeous, eh? Wicked. Hey, let's keep you in here, buddy. Instead of going down. You ain't done. Oh. Yeah, he's hot. Well done. Oh, oh buddy, 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 yeah, no. Oh, out, out you come. Ain't no stopping he's it. He's using it. There is no stopping it, is there? Come on, buddy. Okay. Yeah, net, net, net. Might be able to do it. No, no. He is wrapped. He is okay. wrapped. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. That was brilliant. Well That's done. awesome. Sweet. Look, another healthy. Yeah, he is. Fish. He is healthy, isn't he? Yeah. Sweet ass. Well a little done. bit of a scar of a, on his back there, but that's cool. Good. Yeah. Thanks, man. Nah, cool. <laughs> cool. What do you want? That's neat. Over here, eh? Let's just do, because uh, I think Dave will probably just situate that. Um, I'll go here and maybe just face here. Okay, well, love, you got that? I'm on it. Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. Woohoo! Out of here. <laughs> That's sweet. Well, thank you, team. Well, thank you for not having a team dog. effort. <laughs> <laughs> so when we first walked up to this spot, this fish was definitely hanging in in the tail out, and we all saw it there. And then, of course, we decided, okay, who's going for this fish? And I was up. Um, so I got into position, got my flies on. And the moment I stood up to actually go for him, it looks quite a bit different. I'm going, okay, I don't see this fish, but I'm gonna get a couple casts through that spot anyway, which is exactly what I did. Um, and sure enough, no, no fish, couple, couple drifts, nothing happening. And so thought, okay, well, this fish has got to move. And I don't know if it was, if he had picked up on my motion or if he had just charged at something and decided, hey, I want to situate myself further up in this run more towards the head and so we just slowly walked our way up as you do going okay this fish can't have gone far right but sure enough he was there and the sun came out at the perfect time for us to really spot him and confirm yeah that's absolutely that's the smudge that's what I want to go for and that's just what happens sometimes you know you, you can never give up in a spot thinking oh yeah he's spooked um gone done you know in the process of tying on your fly no make sure you just really slowly look um in both directions now in this case he would not have gone down likely into the fast what would be the reason for that for for a brownie no he's got all this gorgeous water he could swim up and find a find a good spot to hang out and that's exactly what he did so really fun fun moment for me i got lucky today not every fish has been in a real good feeding position um and a number of them have been pretty deep but i got lucky with that one just upstream of amelia's fish the stream flows out of a tight gorge of old worn rock walls and fine gravel None of us have ever seen a fish through this gorge, but given how low the flows were, we treated ourselves to a wander through.
Work it off. Mower time. Mower time. What is it? Four o'clock on the dock? Quarter past. Yeah. Pretty solid. Ashley was 15 minutes late on that one. Shit, man. Tell Lillian that it was my fault. Oh, please? I, I usually do, yeah. <laughs> Something that hit us during the pandemic was the value of just being. Our hearts are Kiwi, and it wasn't easy being away two and a half years. We bought a good set of mountain bikes this trip to allow us to poke around different mountain bike tracks, to immerse ourselves into the environments we've always loved, and get the exercise that fly fishing doesn't quite offer. Get out of the vehicle and climb. Whew. 690 meters vertical, hey? <laughs> Sand tails everywhere. Old gold trail track, eh? Yeah. Amazing. Wow, look at that moth. Stunning. Imagine being on this thing 150 years ago. Yeah, some of this is just one big storm away. Looks like a meter of that got washed last August. Yeah. You know, it's not that we're doing anything exceptionally challengingly hard. Yeah. Some of the actual mountain bike tracks, yeah, but this is just... Thinking about all the sights, like the visuals. Yeah. Tapestries of tapestries of yeah, incredible beauty. And it's so lush from having rain last night. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's not long beautiful. for the world. I'm afraid a heavy loaded mule can outperform me on a mountain bike any day. You just do this every day of the week and before you know it, a month on, you're able to do more of this. Not that we've stopped. Sounds like the wide who saddle. That's exactly what it is.
later on. Stunning for all the times we fish the white tip. There it is down there. When you're down fishing, you have no idea this is here. Haven't got a clue. Look at this forest we're in. Yeah, it's up, but it's it's an inspired up. <sighs> wow. Unbelievable. Absolutely love my fly fishing, but this is something else. Oh, we're over that ridge.